Hi, welcome to Challenge the Road. We're back with the Focus, the WRC car. We're gonna give you a walk round of the interior. We're gonna go around the engine bay. We're gonna talk about the performance and then we're gonna do a start up on this one. So please, please like and subscribe our channel. We've got lots more coming up on these Focus and Rally cars. Hi right, guys, let's have a look at the interior of this Ford WRC car. So let's start with that steering wheel as used by Colin in 2002, Sparco. Lots of buttons on here. We've got traction, launch, PTT, marker, wash wipe, dip and main. And then this was a, a paddle shift. So a single paddle shift on here. You use the little red button to get into reverse. Then we've got all these lovely dials here. So we just turn it on. And all this is carbon, like a little bit of Alcantara on the top, but the whole car is carbon. The fire extinguisher, if you need the handbrake here. So this should come up in a second. And here are the screens. And it's got so many displays on here. I was having a little look through, and when you go through the pages, you've got your rev counter there. And you can just click through oil, pressure controls. So, so many settings. Also, the co-driver's got a screen as well over there that you can look through. Now, I just had a quick count up of switches in here. I think there's over 70 just down here in the fan, which is when they're driving, obviously some of them have got little tape or little markers on them just to make sure I'm assuming that they can see them and they do switch the right ones. Um, I can't imagine, you know, being Colin launch control in here and the feel through the brake, it's like hitting a block of wood. And you imagine Colin in this car, left foot braking, but there's hardly any movement in this pedal. You've got to really hit it to get movement, which is probably what they, they love for doing the rallying. Again, carbon fiber air box, just the whole car carbon fiber, door panels, I'm not even sure how much is actually left that isn't carbon in here. Um, yeah, it's just a special, special place to be. And when you come and sit in it and you realize the history um, and what an iconic star Colin McRae was and being able to, to sit in a car like this is just a, it's a huge honor. And, you know, I've had a few people sit in here and they get quite emotional because, I mean, I went to the RAC rally in Wales um, I've got my my family in Wales as well and I used to go and watch these rallies and it's just a fantastic time. I always remember all the air horns, the helicopters going over and to watch these cars and to know that I'm now you know able to to really enjoy this car and be able to just sometimes just come in here just sit in the car and just go through you know all those memories I had when I was younger watching these cars and what a huge era of rallying it was. Um, I, I watched a video the other day where they thought that rallying was gonna overtake F1. And unfortunately, rallying's really tailed off and we just don't seem to have the characters we had. And, you know, we've got Colin McRae back then. We had Richard Burns, Kankinen, all these characters and all these rivalries we had that were really the main part of the sport. And I think now the cars are super, super fast but you just haven't got the characters um, that, that make it and make it really special. So yeah, it's a really special place to be in here. And, you know, I'm looking forward to showing you more and more around, but we're gonna go over to the engine now and I'm gonna show you all the way through that. So here we have the engine of the 2002 car and we've got a two litre 16 valve ZTEC turbo. Now it looks very different to the Focus RS we've got because the engine is sitting right back and you see it's on a slant going back in. And I can see why there's so many switches now because there's so many switch na names on this at the back. And again, carbon fiber everywhere, all the way around on the back. 
And then we've got a carbon fiber air box. Obviously that's funneling all the air into there for the engine. But as I say, the thing I've really noticed is that just the way this is set back, obviously for weight distribution, they've set this right back, but also a, quite a substantial slant on the engine there. So again, it, it just looks, you know, a fantastic work of art really, and, and so different to the, the Focus RS we have. I'd like to actually put both of them side by side and really get a good look at them and see the differences. But I say the main thing I'm noticing is that engine really slanted back. And obviously all carbon here on the front, this strut to hold is, I assume that's aluminium, but it's so light. And I can't tell you, everything just feels, it's like a, like a featherweight. Everything feels so, so light. But yeah, this is um, an extraordinary engine. And as I say, these push out over 500 foot of torque. So they were limited to 300 horsepower in that time, but 500 foot of torque. And I think the 0 to 60s on these cars were getting around two and a half seconds, which is obviously very, very quick.